Hi all, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we've got a Toshiba Satellite P50T-A which we're just going to tear down and open up to show you how to upgrade and get into the unit. Um, word of warning before we start, always take static precautions and this may void your warranty. Also make sure the unit's off. Um, as you can see this one doesn't have a remove or easily removable battery. So we have to open it up before we can get to the battery. Now, um, I've also removed all the screws um, just to make this video quicker, but I'll just go through where they are in a second. First off, this little panel here, uh, it's held down by one screw and that's to access the memory. So just unscrew that and once that's done, put your little finger in the socket there and pull it up. It can be a bit tight at first and if you have any problems, just use a flathead screwdriver just to push it up. As you can see here in this unit, we've got one um, dim already in and there's room for another socket. Now to get the dim out, or also as well there's a little plastic divider. Um, to get the dim out there's two silver tabs on either side, just pull them outwards and as you can see the memory slots up which you can then um, take out. Push it back, um, to put it back in, just push it back in and push it down. Um, just make sure both ends clip back into place, as this one, it, this side doesn't. You may need a, just a little um, uh, tap with a flathead screwdriver and there it is. Now as I said there's actually 14 screws on this one and each screw is actually covered by a little grommet. So the grommets are little black rubbery type things and each one is actually slightly different. So just watch it when you take them out you know where they go back in. What I generally do is when I pull them out I, I place them on a piece of paper or something where um, the actual positions relating to where they are on the back panel here. Now this screw here also undoes the optical drive, so once that's done, as you can see, the optical drive just kind of slides out nicely. Once that's out, what we can do is take off this back panel. Now, if it's the first time you've done this, it may be a bit hard to unclip, but again, what I do is, um, under this part here, is just put a little uh, flathead screwdriver and just um, slowly prise it apart. Just be careful you don't break any of the plastic bits. But there we are, that's the internals as we can see now. We've got the battery, the hard drive, memory again, the CPU, heat sink and the fans here. So to remove the battery there's an extra three screws. So there's one there, two, three. And I didn't go through all the locations of the screws on the back panel, but at the end of the video, I'll just go through that for you. Um, here is the hard drive, and that's held in by two screws. And as you can see here, there's an actual third screw, but that's, that's the screw that's in from the back panel as well. So don't worry about that if at the end you can't find it to put it back in. Um, to, get that act, to get into the hard drive, just remove these two silver screws. and then pull it, you've got the SATA and power sockets there, so just slide it this way, and there it is. As you can see, you've just got the hard drive and it's in a, in a couple of mounting rails um, there, which have a couple of screws, so one, two, and then another two screws. So just remove those two screws, take off those mounting rails, and you can put in a new hard drive. To put it back in, it's just a matter of putting on the mounting rails, the right side, and just make sure you've got the SATA connections lined up the right way, and just slot it in and then screw in or screw back in the two screws here. Um, over here we've got the um, CPU fan and the um, heat sink. So that, over time that may get a bit dusty. So to pay maybe if your machine's running hot, just get some compressed air and blow that out. Um, that's probably about it, but one thing I was just gonna tell you is where all the screws are. Now I don't know, I'll just put the back panel back on and it may be a bit hard to see but there's actually 14 screws. We've got one in the corner here, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and fourteen. Um, as I said, there's little rubber grommets on each of them, just remove them and then you can get access to the screws. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you got some use out of today's video. Please um, like our channel and also if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching.